Okay, let's look at some sample data from our hydrates or dehydration of salt lab. Uh, in this lab, you, you, you did three trials. I'm only going to analyze data for one trial, but you only had to get three numbers. You um, weigh the, um, the little aluminum pan when it's empty, and then you put some of the hydrated magnesium sulfate in there, your Epsom salt, and then you weigh it again, uh, and then you heat it up. You put it on the little sternal candle, heat it up, you're driving all the water off, and then you weigh it again after it's heated. Um, and, and what we're going to try to do is calculate how much, how many grams of water le left. Um, so that's you know how much was originally in your sample. Convert that to moles. Figure out how many grams of magnesium sulfate we have, um, not the hydrated, just the, the anhydrous form of it. And then um, compare those moles. And this is, a, this is an empirical formula problem. We're trying to find the simplest ratio of moles, and that will tell us how many moles of water. So we're trying to solve for that x. That's ultimately where we're trying to get to. We only had to measure these three. These three things, three masses, and we can do it. Fun lab. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is find the mass of the hydrated magnesium sulfate. It's our first calculation. Well, if this is the mass of the pan plus the hydrated magnesium sulfate, uh, I can just subtract out the mass of the pan, and that should give me that number. So easy subtraction. I'm just going to do uh, 2.15. Sorry, 2. Point, ooh. Here we go. 2. 1.4 minus 1.33 should give us 0 0.81, 0 0.81 grams, 0 0.81 grams. Okay, so that's how much magnesium, um, hydrated magnesium sulfate. So really what that is, is that's magnesium sulfate with some amount of water. We don't know how many moles of water are in that. That's what we're going to find. Um, and then we found the mass after the heating, okay, was 1.73. And so if we want to figure out um, how much water was in our system, well, we can look at the mass of the pan plus the um, anhydrous magnesium sulfate. So that's after uh, all the water's gone. And then this is what it was, the pan plus the magnesium sulfate plus the water, right? So this has the pan, the water, and the magnesium sulfate. This just has the pan and the magnesium sulfate. So if I subtract those, I should figure out how much water was in my sample. So I just have to do 2.14 minus 1.73 and that gives me 0 0.41 grams All right so that's how much water i had 0 0.41 and when you turn this in feel free to um you just type right in there if you want to in the data sheet all right um percentage of water okay so percent of, of hydration well this is the mass of the water right point um two, point four two. that's the mass of the water and the 0.81 is the mass of the magnesium sulfate in the water. So if I just do the water over magnesium sulfate and the water times 100, that should give me the mass percent of water. So again, this is just water, the mass of water. This is the mass of the magnesium sulfate with the water, MgSO4, with some amount of water. So this will tell me by mass, you know, what percentage is uh, is this compound water, and that was. 50.6%. All right, so I got 50.6% by mass water. Um, now if I want to find the mass of the anhydrous magnesium sulfate, so that is the magne magnesium sulfate without the water. Well, how do I do that? Well, if I know the mass of the magnesium sulfate with the water, right, SO4 with some amount of water, right, and I subtract out the mass of the water, then I should be able to figure out what is the magnesium sulfate without the water. All right, so magnesium sulfate with the water, that's the 0.81. Water by itself is 0.41. So magnesium sulfate is just 0.40. That's what we mean by that guy. All right, so we had the hydrated, subtract out the water. Now we have the anhydrous. Great, so now we're at a good point because we know the grams of water and we know the grams of the magnesium sulfate. If we know grams of each of those, we can find moles. And if we know moles of both of those, we can take a ratio of those moles and that will tell us, um, that will tell us what? That will tell us how many moles of water uh, were in our sample. So I'm just gonna give us some more space here. So let's convert both of those grams to moles. So we're gonna take um, magnesium sulfate first, okay? So we have point 0 0.40 grams of the magnesium sulfate. And the molar mass, which 
you remember how to find molar mass, magnesium plus sulfur plus four times oxygen ends up being about 120.36 grams per one mole. So I'll find the moles of this. I got 0 0.00. 3323, 3323, three, three, three. that's way more than, than I need. Um, do the same thing for water. Water was 0. 0.41 grams of water, and I have 18.02 grams, that's the molar mass of water. When I work that out, I get 0. 0.022775. Seven, five. All right, so my moles up here are going to have 0 0.0033, and this guy is 0 0.0228. I'll just give an extra sigfig there. Um, now, to figure out the ratio of the moles to water, I'm going to divide by the smallest one. So this guy is 0 point the smaller. So that oops, equals 1. Divide this one by that guy, because I'm finding the ratio of moles here. Two, three, and when I work that out, I get like 6.84, which is about equal to seven, which is pretty much what we're supposed to get there. All right, so I'm gonna put about seven, and that's my X. So I'm just gonna rewrite this as MgSO4.7 waters. Now, if you didn't get seven, that's okay. Um, you will do three trials of this. Some are better than others, <laughs> and that's also okay. So just uh, 